Hooks and suckers are present in which of the following acelomate animals? And the options given are Tenoplana, Pterobrachia, Meandrina, and Tinea. Tenoplana is a tenophore acelomate animal, but hooks and suckers are not present in it. So, this cannot be a correct answer. B. Pleurobrachia. Pleurobrachia is again a tenophore acelomate, but hooks and suckers are not present in Pleurobrachia. So, this cannot be a correct answer. Meandrina. Meandrina is brain coral. It belongs to the phylum Cnidaria and it is also acelomate, but hooks and suckers are not present in the Meandrina. So, this cannot be a correct answer. Fourth option, Tinea. Tinea, it belongs to the phylum Platyhalaminthes and Platyhalaminths are acelomate and in the Tinea solium, both hooks and suckers are present. So, correct answer to this question is option number fourth, Tinea. Proceeding to the next question, question states that identify the basic amino acid among the following given options and the options given are aspartic acid. Aspartic acid is an acidic amino acid. Second option, glutamic acid. Glutamic acid is also an acidic amino acid. In acidic amino acid, extra COH group is present. C. Arginine. Arginine is a basic amino acid. D. Tryptophan. Tryptophan is an aromatic amino acid. Here you can see the structure of glutamic acid, aspartic acid, arginine and tryptophan. In glutamic acid, extra COH group is present. In aspartic acid also, extra COH group is present. So, both glutamic and aspartic acid are acidic amino acids. In arginine, extra NH2 group is present. So, arginine is basic amino acid and tryptophan is an aromatic amino acid. So, correct answer to this question is option number C, arginine. Proceeding to the next question. Question states that which of the following ART involves in vitro fertilization and the options given are first option GIFT. GIFT stands for gamete intrafallopian transfer. Gamete intrafallopian transfer and in GIFT in vivo fertilization occur. So, this cannot be a correct answer. B ICSI. ICSI stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection. And in ICSI, the sperm is directly injected into the cytoplasm of ovum. So, in ICSI, in vitro fertilization occurs. C is AI. AI stands for artificial insemination. And in artificial insemination, semen is deposited either in vagina or in uterus. So, in AIE, in vivo fertilization occurs. So, this cannot be a correct answer. DIUI. IUI stands for intrauterine insemination. insemination in uterus. So, in IUI also in vivo fertilization occurs. So, this cannot be a correct answer and correct answer to this question is option number 2 ICSI. Proceeding to the next question. Question states that select the correct option which includes STIs caused only by bacteria. So, we have to choose that option which is STI caused by bacteria. Let us see the options. Option number 1, genital herpes and AIDS. Both genital herpes and AIDS are STI, but they are not bacterial STI, they are viral STIs. So, this cannot be a correct answer. Second option, hepatitis B and genital warts. Hepatitis B is caused by hepatitis B virus and genital warts is caused by human papilloma virus. Both are STI, but again they are viral STI. So, this cannot be a correct answer. 
Third option, syphilis and gonorrhea. Syphilis is caused by Treponema pallidum, a bacteria, and gonorrhea is caused by Neisseria gonorrhea, again a bacteria. So, syphilis and gonorrhea are bacterial STIs, hepatitis B and syphilis. Hepatitis B is viral, so this cannot be correct answer. And correct answer to this question is option number C, syphilis and gonorrhea. These are bacterial STIs. Now, proceeding to the next question. Question states that select the correct statement among the following given options. Option number one, functional insulin consists of three polypeptide chains A, B and C which are linked together by glycosidic bonds. This is incorrect. In functional insulin, C peptide is not present. Moreover, chain A and B, they are linked by the disulfide bonds. Here you can see the structure of mature insulin in which A and B peptide, they are linked by the disulfide bonds. The C peptide is present in the pro-insulin in the immature form. Option second, in humans, insulin is synthesized as a pro-hormone. This is correct. Right now we have seen that insulin is synthesized as pro-insulin. Statement C, pro-insulin contains an extra stretch called the B-peptide. This is incorrect because in the pro-insulin, the extra stretch which is present is known as C-peptide and not the B-peptide. Fourth option, chains B and C were produced separately, extracted and combined by creating hydrogen bonds to form hemulin. This is incorrect because chain A and chain B were produced separately, extracted and combined by creating disulfide bonds and not the hydrogen bonds. So, correct option is option number 2, B. Proceeding to the next question, 